soon to be relieved governor of Ocean State, Oyetola Governor Adigboyega Oyetola, on Thursday appointed 30 civil servants as permanent secretaries. Most of you might look at this and you'll be like, so what does that mean? How does that matter? Well, it does matter. You see, um, when you are into the kind of Nigerian politics that we've been having and we have right now, you will understand certain steps that um, some political office holders like governors take. We know that a new coming, incoming governor is going to want to shake the system up a little bit and do this and that. That is why Oyetola decided to put in some of, in court, dogs. People who will spy, people who will make the government of the incoming governor, Adeleke, not so, um, you know, he won't be able to do certain things the way he want to do it. Of course, he's a governor. He can do this. He has executive power to do this and do, undo and all of that. Yes, he does. But, the civil servant that are permanent secretaries cannot be relieved of their job. Is either you forcefully retire them or if there is a case of corruption against them, then you can lay them off. That is how it works. So it's going to be difficult for, um, uh, for Adeleke governor, the incoming governor Adeleke to relieve 30 permanent secretaries. If all of the secretaries are loyal, answerable to soon to be ex-governor Oyetola, then Adeleke will not have a free or let's say won't have 100 percent control of whatever it is that probably you know the plans that he has he will be able to execute all of these plans 100 percent without certain groups of people saying okay all right but what about this and that now, if this civil servant decides to decide to dance to the tune of Adeleke, um, well, we know how this thing turns out to be. Now, people are kind of like, oh, really? This man is a failed governor. Still, he wants to put in his dogs to act like spies. He wants them to act like spies. He wants them to sit in there to watch, give him report, etc., he knows what he's doing, even if his plans might be detrimental or not. We can't actually say, of course, if a party or a sitting governor is relieved of his position, either by election or whatever, he will want to continue. It's natural. He might want to continue. Although many of our politicians in Africa, when they are caught in some criminal or if they are unable to perform, they do not do that honorable thing, bowing out. They want to die there. They want to continue. They want to continue. That's what it is. So that is what he's doing. He's putting in his dogs to make it difficult for the next governor because he cannot sack permanent secretaries. They either retire forcefully, either it retires them forcefully, or they will become directors. That's what it is. He has appointed 30. That's a lot. He has decided to put into the running of that country, sorry, the state, Ocean State, he has decided to put in these people to watch, to feed him info, to be part of the core of the running of Ocean State. Because you need directors, you need permanent secretaries to run civil service. The governor cannot do this alone. That's how it is. Commissioners are there. Yes, we do know that we have commissioner, commissioner for this, commissioner for that, commissioner for this. But permanent secretaries are very important. Now, people are saying it's a pity. It's a pity that those that accepted this appointment because the incoming governor Adeleke is going to look deep. He's going to find out their dirty jobs. No, it doesn't really work that way. It doesn't really work that way. It's going to be very difficult. These are guys that are people that are involved in politics. If he decides to use some kind of forceful power to do this and that. You know how it's going to be. There's going to be a lot of calamity in that state. We know that we have security issue in Nigeria already. There, there's going to be a lot of problem. It's going to be faced with this. It's going to be battle, battle, war, problems, battle, fight, war. Till if he's able to go for a second term. That's what it's going to be. 
That's how these guys rule because there is going to be problem in Ocean State. APC, Personal, Vendetta, PDP, and Adeleke's family believing that the first governor after the military dispensation, their own elder brother, that is the incoming governor, Adeleke, his elder brother that passed away there, he believes that he has come in there to fulfill or to continue what he did not finish. So it's like a personal thing for them in their own family, for the Adeleke's family. And the governor, Yetola, believes that he should be there. Do not forget that they had that election previously and um, they had to go back to sit and do what they needed to do. They said, oh, Mr. Adeleke doesn't have certificate this and that. He went back, he tried, he did what he could do. They went to the court, but he has been awarded, Mr. Come back, come in and become governor. And he's holding tight onto this. He's holding tight onto this. So, um, right now, 30 people have been appointed as permanent secretaries. How is Oshun State going to fare? How are they going to thrive? That is the question that a lot of people want to know. So, guys, what are your thoughts? Are you from Oshun State? Have you been observing, watching the kind of politics in Nigeria, in states, and what have you? What are your thoughts? Oyetola appoints 30 permanent secretaries. Just few days, few days to the end of his tenure. He has made some changes right, left and center, you know, that we've all seen. Now, he has decided to do extra by appointing 30 secretaries, civil servants that he knows cannot be easily, you know, it's not going to be possible for Adeleke to step in there and all of a sudden relieve the 30 permanent secretaries of their job. It is going to create a lot of, you know, the constitution does not permit it. So it's going to create a lot of um, problems and there's going to be like, oh, now we are fighting APC, PDP. These steps moves are detrimental to the growth of state. Oyetola might decide to do this, but we do not know what Adeleke is going to do. We do not know his reaction. If he's going to say, yes, don't worry, we are going to do this, we are going to do that, because uh, people do not want Oyetola anymore. They do not want the APC thing anymore. People are tired. But that does not mean that Adeleke will do better. Do not forget that he's this dancing senator. When he speaks, he doesn't come with something reasonable. He talks about how he's going to bring his friend dangote to spend money to spray money to do this and that well, we will see if it's going to come up with investment we do not want this you know um oh dancing for nothing we are talking about investment we're talking about growth we're talking about progress that i believe is what everyone wants not just to celebrate um, the name of one person because oh there are people there no 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 Progress is more important. We need to grow out of this uh, uh, politics of family, uh, of this family, this person, the association and that. No, we are talking about progress. The problem we have in Nigeria is that we do not have that synchronous, that, that kind of structure that is solid, that will vomit, push away anyone who steps in there to do rubbish. What are your thoughts? Do not forget to subscribe if you have not done so.